Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a review of the V-Cube 3. And this is like the world's best 3x3. Uh, that, that's at least in my opinion. It is, this is the pillow version obviously, so I guess this would be the V-Cube 3B, if I'm not mistaken. And it just glides. And this is without lubrication, this is without adjusting tensions. At least I don't think you can adjust the tensions. Yeah, I've tried to get these little center caps off, but it appears that they're glued on. So I guess the tensions are set. And it's just an overall amazing puzzle. Stickers haven't chipped, and I've been playing with this a lot. Um corner cutting is just remarkable on this. I mean, look at this, ready? And, ready? Uh, sometimes it can do it. Apart from here, with ease. So this is like, mm, like a third of a piece, with ease. You can't quite do a full piece. Like, you'd have to turn a couple times before it goes, and that's only because this top layer slightly moves, and then once it gets to about here, it can corner cut. But turning is beyond smooth, and one thing I have to say about this, if you're going to get the pillowed version, beware. Because there's one thing that I don't particularly like about the pillowed version. Actually, no, I'd say two things. Two things. Number one, it's pillowed. So if you're not used to handling pillowed puzzles, your fingers are going to lose grip on the puzzle. But after a while, you get used to it. Second thing, once you get used to it, there's pretty much no going back to cubic puzzles. And I'll show you an example. After, I'd say, a few weeks of handling my VQ3, now please note, I still haven't uploaded the unboxing because I'm super lazy and I just haven't gotten around to it. So expect the unboxing of the VQ3 to be up shortly, but after about three weeks of having the VQ, I decided to pull out one of my cubic puzzles. And when I held it, it just felt really different. And I wondered why. And I couldn't really do finger tricks as well. And for some reason, it felt like even though the whole puzzle is cubic, see, it's cubic, even though if, even though this puzzle's cubic, it felt like when I grabbed the puzzle, it felt like it was caving in on itself. And then I realized my hands were used to handling the V cube 3. And because the V cube 3 is pillowed, your fingers are extended out from the center more than they would be on the cubic. So when you hold the cubic, now it feels like your hands are caving in. Because now all of a sudden, you're no longer holding this pillowed, which has been thickened and rounded out on all sides. You're now holding something that's entirely flat on all sides. So it feels pretty weird after handling the VQ3 for a few weeks then going back to cubic puzzles. And I have to admit it was pretty weird and it took a while getting used to. I actually stopped playing with the VQ3 for about a week just to get back into the swing of using cubic puzzles. And I have to say even handling puzzles like my 2 by 2 and my scube all felt different. And here's my scube. Handling my scube felt different too because my fingers are almost like caved in in comparison to the pillow. 
That's one thing. Those are two things I don't like about this puzzle. So if you're going to buy the pillar version, beware because it's going to feel totally awkward handling cubic puzzles afterwards. But anyway, uh, back to the main review. Uh, sticker quality. Really nice. And they haven't chipped at all since I got this puzzle. Um, corner cutting, as I just demonstrated, is amazing. And... Tensions are not adjustable, but you don't need to because right out of the box, this puzzle turns amazing. And from what I heard, the cubic version is a little bit better because you don't lose your grip as much on this. But even still, you can do finger tricks like with lightning speed. And I'm not fast, and I can do finger tricks pretty quickly on this puzzle now. Let's get into the mechanism of this puzzle. First, open it up, you'll realize that the pieces are very similar to that of a ah, no. the pieces are very similar to that of a guhong as a matter of fact they are the same as the guhong except the pillow version uh, the edge piece itself is a little thicker because it has to be uh, pillowed. So overall, the edge pieces are the exact same. And that's where the controversy comes in. Because people are saying that the V-Cube is a knockoff of the Guhong. But knockoff or not, the puzzle is still pretty good. And in my opinion... It's better than the Guhong. And also, the edges are a little different. I, the Guhong edges can come apart because I guess you can order it DIY. But the VQ pieces can't. Uh, like, this camera isn't the best for like close up quality. I'm going to hold these at a distance and zoom in, and you'll see that here there are like little crosshairs, and these are where all the pieces meet. On the V-Cube, it doesn't have that. So technically, it's a knockoff of the edge piece and overall internal core design. The corner pieces are not knockoffs, in my opinion. But in general, this puzzle... Once again, with all the controversy, I, I strongly believe that this is a knockoff, the, that uh, V-Cube took the Guhong design. But still, the way it's made makes it a lot better. Like, something about the puzzle makes it a lot better. I guess you can handle the V-Cube 3 a lot easier, because, uh, back to the main review, uh, when you turn it, it only moves 90 degrees. Sometimes it overturns a little bit, but that's perfect for corner cutting. The Guhong. Sometimes, if you're turning it really fast, it overturns. That's easily fixable with uh, adjustable tensions. But still, you'll never get the perfect tensions with the Guhong because you'd have to spend like hours adjusting tensions on the V-Cube. You don't because they're already preset. And they're pretty good. Don't need doesn't need lubric doesn't need lubricating. Uh, stickers are pretty good. Corner cutting is amazing. Uh, internal mechanism, however, is a knockoff of the Guhong. And overall, this is just a pretty good puzzle. And in my opinion, if you had the decision of buying a V Cube or a Zanchi, I'd say get the um the V Cube because well, the Zanchi, it still pops. Uh, my friend MacPro5598, he has a Zanchi. And I was playing around with it, and I wanted to see how much I can, like, try popping it before it pops. And it popped pretty badly. And then I went back home, and I took out my V-Cube, and I tried the same moves I did, and it didn't pop. So the V-Cube rarely has popping, and I don't even think this thing runs on torpedoes. 
No, I don't think so. So, the V-Cube, it, it's just pretty good. In my opinion, it's a lot better than the Zanshi. The few times I've actually had a Zan uh, held a Zanshi. But, even still, you should definitely get this puzzle. And, um, anyway, so I guess this is the end of the review. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.